Hey what's up guys, welcome back to another video and in this video I'll be teaching you guys how to make a Minecraft texture pack. So in this video I'll be teaching you guys how to make like a diamond sword or like the sword. So yeah, let's try to reach 5 likes on this video guys, that'll be amazing. And also if you're new here, press that red subscribe button down below. You know, it's free so why not subscribe, right? Anyway, so we're gonna be using a software called Paint.net. Which is basically like a ghetto version of Photoshop, you know, but it's it's like free, it's pretty good. So I'll leave a down link to this in the description below. Anyway, so let's begin. So the first thing you guys want to do is you want to go over to File and then go to New. And then this is where you choose like the resolution of your touch pads. So touch pads go from like 16 by 16 to like 250, I mean not 256, uh, 512 by 512. So so to start off, I'll be showing you guys how to do 16 by 16, you know, and later in this video, I'll be teaching you guys how to do like high resolution touch pads. So we want to hold control and zoom in here. And then so basically right now the, the thing, whatever you call it, it's white. You want it to be transparent. So you want to go to your magic wand tool and just, just click on it once, then press the delete button. And it should be transparent. So now you want to go to you want to make the color black. Then you want to go to your pencil tool, and now you can start making your sword. So I'm gonna start out with my blade. So I'm just gonna do this. So normally, if you're I mean if you're doing like a PvP texture pack, uh, people generally like their sword. I mean their blade like kind of short. So like that's about good. Don't make it super long. That look really bad, but. Anyway, so you can make your blade like this, or you could make it like this, which is not really popular anymore. It's kind of irrelevant, you know. It's like slanted, but you know, you know, you could do that if you want. It's your choice, but generally, people like it, like their blade like this nowadays. But anyway, so now you have your blade. You just start off with your handle. So I'm just gonna start the handle here. And uh, hey, I'm going way too fast right now, but. You guys can just follow along, like maybe copy what I'm doing, but obviously you want to make it like original, you know. So now I'm gonna start out, now I'm gonna continue with like the bottom part here, you know, just do that. And then make like the final part here, like that. So as you see, now you have your outline of your sword, you know, that only took like, what, like a minute, it's super easy. So now you want to add color to it, so. Basically, one you want to go to your magic wand tool and then select like the empty area here, and then you want to select two colors. So I choose like like a light red and like like a dark red. Choose like a light and a dark color. Then you want to go to your gradient tool and just like click on the spot and just drag. And as you see, you have your you have your gradient here, and you don't have to do it like straight. Also, make it like that if you want or like kind of like on diagonal you know people like you know you know make be creative you know whatever so i'll make it like diagonal like that that looks pretty good right so now we're gonna do like the the handle so i'm gonna choose like i'm gonna make it gray so i'm gonna choose like a lighter gray and like a darker gray so do that and hold on why didn't that work okay so you want to go to your magic wand tool once again, and then like select the, the area where you want your gradients to be. It'll select the whole thing, and then go to your gradient tool. And then once again, click on like a spot and just just hold shift. Because if you don't hold shift, it'll be like all over the place. But hold shift so it's like straight. And do that, and then deselect. And then you're basically done like the top half. Now for the bottom half here, I can just use the, the pencil tool. You don't need the gradient tool. Just do that. And for the final part here, just make it the same color as your blades. So I can choose that color. And there you go. And you're basically done your, your entire sword. It's super easy. I mean, it's obviously 16 by 16. It's, it doesn't take a long time. That only took like, what, like, like freaking five minutes, less than five minutes. Anyway, so. Now I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to do like a higher resolution one. So do hey for sure 256 by 256. That's pretty high resolution, you know. And obviously the higher res, the harder. 
So just like this one, you want to go to your magic wand tool, select, just click on it, so select the whole thing, and then just delete and make it transparent. So now you want to make the color black. Then you want to go to your line slash curve tool, because if you use your pencil tool, you can't really you know, do it because the pixels are so like freaking small, you know, it'll take forever. So you want to go to your line slash curve tool, to make the brush width like about six. That's okay. That's way too way too thin. We'll to make it like nine. Actually, nine is too thin. Like about seven. Seven, yeah, seven. Seven is like good. So um, you want to like just start out with your blade here. So for higher res ones, people like their blade kind of like thin and long. If you know what I mean. But anyway, so you make one ha half like so you make one half, then you just like copy onto the other side. So just create a new layer. Then go to your like original layer and then copy it. Go to your new layer and then paste it. And then just drag it out here. So there you go. So you don't want to make it like too thin or too thick. You know, you want to make it just the right thickness. So about there, that's pretty good. And then you just uh, merge the layers together. And then you want to start making the, the, the top parts. So I'm just gonna, you know, first of all, deselect and then just do this. Then do this and make the other side. To check if it's even, just go to your rectangle select tool. Just do that. And right now it's off by one pixel. Okay, so, um, you no, know, one pixel won't make a difference, but I have OCD, so hey, that's, that's even. So, um, I actually made the blade a bit too made a bit too thick, I mean not too thick, too long. So I'm just gonna, you know, just make it shorter here, like that. Deletes. And then just use the like eraser tool to like fix it up. That's you know obviously for high res versions, you know those small details won't make a difference. Okay, so just so want to drag that into place. Then you want to create a new layer, and that's really important to, to like do these things in like separate parts. So you want to start with the handle here. So basically, I'm start like making one half of it, and then just flip it onto the other side. So one half of the blade here, and here you could go to these like small like circle things, just like make it like curvy. But I like to make my sword actually. I'm gonna make it kind of curved a bit. Why not? Right, and do like that thing, this thing, sure. Right, um, actually, hey, whatever. I'm not good at curving it, so I'm make it straight. And that's a bit too long, so I'm make it like shorter, like that. Right, and now I'm gonna start with the bottom parts. So I can do that. Then do the rest of it, the bottom part here. And Obviously, you know, the first time you do this, it won't be perfect. It does take a lot of practice because it's obviously high res and it, it's a lot harder. So to do that, you made one half of it and then just flip it onto the other side. So to do that, just create, you know, go to file new and then create a new thing here and then go back here, copy, you know, this parts, then go here, then paste it, go to your image. Rotate 9 degrees counterclockwise and then image and flip horizontal and get rid of these white areas. So just you know, go to your magic wand tool and then click on it and then delete it. So I have this and then you just want to copy it. Then go back here and then and then create a new layer and then just paste it. And there you go. You basically just flipped it onto the other side. So so for these for this part over here, these small things use the pencil tool fits it up a bit and there you go so it's not really it's not really even here so that okay that looks pretty good it, you know it's like the small things you know people won't really notice because it's like low res you know I mean not low res high res so people won't really notice those small details anyway so you want to merge all these layers actually not all of them yet but yeah so now you want to start with the bottom parts so I'm just gonna create a new layer and do it. So I'm just gonna start this, and we're gonna actually. Hey, never mind. Hey, it's just make it like that. Don't make it too short or too long, because either way it'll look weird. 
Anyway, so now you have that. So now you're gonna do like the final bottom part with like this thing here, whatever you freaking call it. Go to your shapes tool, then make sure you select ellipse, then the brush width seven. That's good. So you want to hold shift and just drag it out. Just if you don't hold shift, it'll be like that. Anyways, just make like not too big, not too small, just like that about that size. Hold on, I messed it up. But hey, so just do that and then merge these layers. And there you go, basically have like the outline of your sword. Obviously, I it's not really perfect. I made this too like big or like this bottom part, I made it way too small. But you know, obviously you guys will take your time to make it good. But yeah, so just like this one and make it like colored. So actually first I'm gonna merge all these layers together to one, then deselect everything. Then then just gonna go to your magic wand tool, then select the empty area. Then I'm gonna choose like a light color and a dark color. Then gradient tool and then I mean it's pretty self-explanatory, just you know click on the spot, just drag out, make sure you hold shift, and just do that. And that was pretty good, so you wanna actually don't do deselect first, you wanna go to your fets, then blurs, and then you wanna go to your fragment. And this is how you add like shading, so I can see you have this nice like shading here. So you know, don't make it too high and make it like 4 I guess, yeah 4 is pretty good. So press ok and just deselect that and that looks like really, that actually looks really nice so. So now you want to continue with your handle here, so I'm make it like grey, so I'm choose like a light grey and a darker grey. Basically the same as this one, you know, except this one's like higher resolution, so match one tool. Select the empty area, then go to your gradient tool, and then just just make your gradient here. And then just like the other one, just you can just repeat the fragments like that, and then deselect. And as you see, it looks it looks actually looks really nice. So I actually wish I made this kind of bigger because it looks really weird, but you know it's not that noticeable. But anyway, so. Now this part over here, same thing, you know, I don't really need to explain it anymore because I explained it multiple times, just do that and then effects, repeat fragments and then there you go and then deselect and then for your final part here again like, like just like this one, make it the same color as your blade so and then make it like a light blue like that and make it like a dark blue just like that now I'm gonna select this empty space here and then gradient tool and one cool thing you guys can do is up here you can choose like different types of gradients so I make it like radial and that'll make it like a circle gradient kind of thing and you want to go to your fats and then repeat fragments and there you go and you're basically done your store and that looks pretty nice obviously I could have like made it a bit better but this is just a tutorial but yeah guys, hope you enjoyed this video, um, if this helped you then please leave a like, and once again subscribe, and I'll see you guys later, goodbye.